Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a basic shapes of face. Now, in order to get a full understanding of the facial features, you would need to look at a skull. Um, if you've got any reference pictures of a skeleton or anything like that, I would suggest look at that. And then you can see where the dips go in the skull and the formation of the skull. And yeah, it's it's pretty technical, but from that we can actually gauge how the basic shape is going to be. Now I've got like a female and male drawing already sketched out here and as I'm going to show you this finished piece there head on but I'm going to go through each step again. I just wanted to show you like my drawing, my previous drawing, um, my, one of my OCs. Like I've done like a side view here and then I did like a head on view here um, but then at the bottom here you can see the kind of base of the head because I never erased the line. Um, right there I never erased the line so you can see where I place the hair on top of where the skull base would be on the top. So yeah, but I'm going to move down the way. That's just like a little reference I was showing. Um, what I'm going to be using is just pencil. I could possibly you could possibly use a cool erase, but I'm going to use an actual pencil. It's a 4H, and I've got two erasers here. One's like this pen rectangular pen one, and then the other one is the Faber Castell. Um, so yes, that's that. So what we're going to start off with is the basic shapes. Now, I'm not going to say that because I'm telling you it's drawn this way, it's the right way. Everyone has their own style of art. And that's what I would suggest. Tailor it to your own um, needs. If you find it easier to draw the skull a bit different, what works for you, fine. That's fine. What I'm going to do right now is grab a piece of layout paper. I'm using this one, but you could use any layout paper. It's the gold line, I think that's from Claire Fontaine. As you can tell, I'm trying to use up all my scroller box papers I have spare line, um, lying around for these quick videos. So, yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is I am first going to show you how I draw the male and female head. It's a bit different for each, but the basic shapes that I start off with is a circle. So, we're just going to change, um, just freehand draw a circle. You could possibly use something to draw around if you want to make it light and... That is the first step. I'm going to zoom in a little for you guys so you can see that a bit better. Um, yes, there we go. It's right there. So that's what we start off with, the circle. Then the second step would be to pull the lines down a little. So this is going to be your jawline. Right. Now, for a female, I tend to leave a little bit of a chin line at the bottom. Some people sometimes pull in the chin line. So kind of meets in the middle like a point like so so I'm gonna do the one with a point right now for you guys now as you can see it's starting to be, um, become into a facial shape here next I would go to um do I'll probably put like the side lines in now I'm not sure if you can tell but it's like basically if it was a side view it would be like this I think let me show you from my previous sketch here as you can see here, like this side view is where the indentation of the side of your head is. Because your head is not fully round when you look at a skeleton um, image or anything like that. So I'm bringing that straight down there. So that's going to be in. Now, if this face looks a bit still thin, what you could do is just ignore that and stretch this out a little bit like so. But make sure it's straight-ish. That's just going to be a guideline for your ears and... My eye line will possibly be where I've drawn this base circle now. That would probably be the bottom of my eyes. And then the top would be another line I would just place here. Take a line straight down the middle, just to give you symmetry. And then I would go on to possibly drawing the ears about maybe just below the eye line. So I would say about here. You can make whatever type of shape you use, but we're just going to do a basic roundish kind of half circle that's been stuck to the side of the head. Yeah, there we go. I would like you to draw along with me because that way you will practice as well. And I'm just going to put the neckline. Now, a female neck is more thinner than a male's neck, so you would make that wider for a man. And a female gets this thin. And this is where your neck lines are drawn down to your collarbone which will be placed down here. We're not going to go any further because I'm just teaching the face right now. And then I would place, um, now you could either draw the eyes first depending on how you would like to draw the eyes. Some people like to draw them a bit ovalish, um, you can make them boxy, that's up to you. I'm just going to go for the standard um, little oval, so I'm going to put a bit of hood to the eye 
and then we're going to pull the eyelash out a bit like that and we're trying to do the same on the other side now this is where it gets a bit complicated because sometimes people struggle to draw the eyes similar and it happens to me too so it doesn't matter if it's not fully symmetrical it's okay it's it's a drawing this is just a rough sketch so you can work on it afterwards if you feel like it doesn't look right erase it that's what the eraser was for yeah the eraser was for okay and then move on to the next part now i'm going to pull the eye the waterline or the inside of your eyes i'm guessing that's where the eye depth is i don't know if i'm saying that right i could be wrong right now and then we just put the base of your eye at the bottom there then i pull down the sides so that it meets to the bottom and that is where you've got eyes right now i tend to put another line if you want guidelines i would just the same i would say the same width of the eyes there and then another line down here which is a bit thinner i'll put the base of the nose about here so basically just draw like an upside down triangle and then take a little hump over the top of it so it's like a little speed bump that's the best way i can describe it so that's just the basis of your nose and then your mouth would be the top it would be close so make sure the top of your lip and the bottom of your nose kind of have a little gap some people tend to have a big gap there but i don't want that because i don't like that and i'm just going to draw this middle lip line here and then the base of the lips there we go now i'm looking at this jawline and it feels a bit off here so what you can do is you can fix that just extend it a little and it's sorted. Now the ears, I tend to put like a little dash like that and then cross like that. But you can make different, that's up to you. That's my own personal choice this, but whatever you want to do. And there we go, we've got basically well, the basics of the head now. Then we would put the eyebrows in just to frame the eyes. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull like two lines up and then just kind of give it an arch and meet them at the end like that. Again, you might have a different style. That's perfectly fine. Do your style. That is okay. And that's that. Here is the basics of a female face for you guys. Yes. Now, we're going to move on to the guys. So, that's the female. Now, the guys is a bit different. He will have a bit more of a bigger jaw. Depending if you want to give him that. But it's fine. Alright, so we're going to start with a round head again. Like we did previously. This is going to be a male. Small round circle, just eyeballing it, that's fine. And then we pull the jawline down. Nice. This time I'm going to give him a bit more of an angle at the bottom here. So I'll give him a bit more angle over this side as well. Make my face a bit more of a round feel. Some people like it more straight, that's fine. If you like it angular, that's okay. You go with the angle. Um, I'm going to give him a bit more of a jawline here and then a nice base, a strong chin. We need to give him a strong chin, all right? And that is head on. Head on is easiest for me personally. I find it more easier than side views. So, side views over practice, like here, I'll just give you an example quickly here now. Male and female. Slightly turn the angle, then you have to turn the central line accordingly, and the eyes have to fit differently. And then that's the same for a direct side view. You have to leave a bit of a gap for the eyebrows. The eye has to be inset a little bit. Not too far in, not too far forward. Otherwise, the face will look a bit awkward. Um, like this one here, for example. I think the male eye is a bit forward here set. So I would possibly push that slightly back. So that it looks like it's kind of dead center with the eyebrow. Like, just make it down a bit. Right, so we're going to go back to drawing the male basic shape. Line down the middle. This is just guideline lines. You don't have to say that this is the this is where you have to place each and every line. That's that's fine. And I'm going to give him a bit more of a wider neck, as you can tell here. So it's not too wide, but it's kind of smaller than his head shape, a little. Right. This would be different if you were making more of a muscular person, because you have more muscles on the top, so we have more lines, like more of a triangle line coming down. Because the top of your muscles would be very built there. But we're just going for the standard, like, normal, like, slim build man. And now I'm going to work on the, yes, the ears. 
Now the ears you could make them bigger because he is a man. Um, or but make sure it's not fully round. Some people, if they're doing cartoon characters, like they put the ears a bit low down here and quite round. That's fine. But if you're going for more of like a manga style, then you might want to make it semi-realistic, not fully, but somewhat semi-realistic. I'm giving him a bit of a point to his ears here. I feel like my ear is a bit lower that side actually. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, maybe. But it's okay. Like I said, it's just a sketch. We we're not this is not the end product. I think he's got quite point pointing out yours. So I will possibly um erase that a little actually. Oh, I don't want him to have sticky out yours, but it's okay if you want to do that, that's fine. And then next we move on to the eyes. Now the male eyes will probably be more flat. So by flat what I mean is the, the brow line would be lower and that means the eyes will be more straight on the top. So more of a boxy shape. So I'm going to give him boxy shape. Now I haven't put the lid line here but if you want to you can add a thin line on top to give the, the emphasis of the deep set eyes or line sorry i think my camera was blurred unfortunately i'm not sure how long it was blurred okay anyways so we're gonna go on with the boxy shape bring it down like this and then a slight angle like that do the same on the other side make sure you leave a little gap there um some people say you can leave um the same eye width like either with eyes width um space in the middle um i tend to leave a smaller gap but it's up to you depending on how you want to draw your character and I'm going to just put the eyes in here now. So I'm going to give him, not full round eyes, but slight curve to the bottom. And I think that's that. Okay, and then his nose again. We'll just bring that down below here. Upside down triangle. And then a little speed bump on top. I like to shade this in. What we'll do then afterwards, if I want to go into more detail, we just put the nostril lines here and then a little like a flap on the edge for the edges of your nose but we're not doing that yet we're not going into too much detail today just go for the basics i want you to practice the shape of the face so basically circle two lines coming down points me in the middle and figure out where the lines would go yeah and then his lip i wouldn't usually put an upper lip on a male i would just basically make a straight line like this and then give it a little dip like this but we can if you want to just give him a bit of a lip line because he's a man i feel like you don't really emphasize the top lip that much if you see what i mean if i raise that now you can see what i mean because i feel like the top lip kind of gives it a fe feminine touch more so there we go you can shade that in if you want to just give it a bit of emphasis and a bit of shade under the the lips and for the man there would be more of a deeper I would say a bit more deeper and a bump in the middle for the Adam's apple so we'd have more of a deeper like I think the tendons that come down from the neck that's what I'm trying to refer to so yeah I'm just giving a bit of a, a bump for the Adam's apple but on the sideways view I think you would see the Adam's apple a bit more so you could put a bit of a bump in there if you want to um if you don't don't want it that's fine as well and that is that guys We've got the basic shapes of a male and a female. There you go. So all I would like you to do is practice. Now, if you want to learn to do side views, all you have to do for that is, it's a bit tricky. Um, so I would say just get the fundamentals of the male head first. And for the male as well, I just forgot to do that. You could give like these lines, emphasis of where the head indentations would be. But you don't have to put them in in your drawing if you don't want to. Um, I guess if you were like a, if he's a bald dude, um, then maybe I would put those lines and just give a bit more of a strong line to the face. Um, and yeah, but yeah, for the side views, we're just going to go over that as slightly right now. So for the side view here, so we have an example here. What I did was um, I did the circle. Then we do a little dip in the side here and pull the face down and then side like this give it a jawline and then the ear is curved according to how much of the head is turning so if I wanted to go even more further like not fully turning sideways and having it like slightly the eye showing on the side here the ear would possibly be around here 
so yeah it's it's something you're gonna have to work on um but i can show you the basics on that as well now while we're here so you draw a circle like so now this is where it gets a bit complicated because you have to think about the head and where everything is going to place so i'm going to put a line i'm going to pull this jawline first down just to give you an idea this is where the jawline goes and this is where the ear would meet here okay now i would possibly pull this head back a bit more seen as if you look at the the well a skull there is a bit of a more of a pull to the back of the head if you think about that um so we'll give it extra line here follow that line down so that it kind of gives me the neck joining in to the female neck there I'll possibly make that straight and then i would do the same here pull that and then what we do to emphasize the lines would be more of this side curve because that's where the tendons would be coming down on the neck and for the nose here because it's going to be in the center it's not going to be on the side so this was where the cheek's going to be on this side left side cheek so i would pull this forehead down a little dip inwards this is where the eye would be now obviously we're not using the baseline of the eye this time this time we have to judge it a bit differently so i'm just going to put the lines in the middle of that and let's follow this line which will go kind of like down down here okay and here goes the dip pull this out a little okay i wouldn't pull it in too much actually let's pull it out a bit and here is where the cheek would go and you pull that back in a little and that meets here so i'm just going to raise that quickly because i think i pulled that in a bit too much yeah basic shapes and now i'm going to try and put the eye here so the eye is going to be curved down here we're going to have an eyelash up here try to leave a little gap on the side here with the angle and then put your bottom eyelash out like so pull around and this is where the eye rust would sit in there you could put a little eye lid over the top and then what we do here is you will put the eyebrow first here so we just help you a little for the guidelines i would possibly pull that eyelid eyebrow sorry there we go and then we follow this line if you can just keep that this way follow this line down and kick another triangle down like that so that's the triangle downwards and then like that pull this side a bit more because you've got to think about it on an angle now and then the lips would place in the middle here so I'll just push a little lip here and i would pull the lip from this side because it's turned it that way and give that a bit of shade on top there we go and then the eye on this side would be the same what you have to remember though there's going to be a gap there because you've got a nose um so I'll try and put a gap about say about that much the eyelash goes around bottom lash now you've got to think about the eye you can't be totally over here because you look a bit cockeyed then the eyes would so try to make that central a little so it looks like you're looking at the viewer not away and then little eyelid yeah beautiful and then you do another eyebrow on this side but this eyebrow will be a bit different seen as you can see the full eyebrow so you extend that a little bit more according to the eye there meeting on the angle here's that year we will have that turning and we got that year here nice jawline and you could possibly make this a bit more curved if you don't like it a bit angular like that and then pull this a bit back a bit i think this head could be a bit more back if I look, to look at that there we go and that's the female head on a bit of a side slot so I would just practice these. Um, I think the side view is more hard and definitely the, the, even the other side is even more hard. This way it's even more harder to draw because you have to basically do the circle first then elongate the back a bit more then put the side line in. So if I was to put the side line on this one let me just show you quickly. So this is where the year would meet and everything. So the side line would be about here. So this is where the flat edge would be line down here line here so the year is kind of settled in the middle of that line but you could always change that you could place your year where you think looks best um on the character 
so yeah that was that guys um i hope this helped um if you have any other um questions or whatnot if there's something you want me to do in the video a bit different let me know what try my best to try it out but practice these um face head on views first just practice them for a bit and see how you get on and if you do draw what i have taught you here please come to my discord there is an art section there where you can post your lovely artwork and then share with all my community there so i appreciate you guys being here thanks for watching the video i just wanted to show you how to draw side views and whatnot thank you bye